so hello guys long time no vlog i have not vlogged in the longest time so i don't know what's going on with this weird backlit lighting very sorry for the darkness um but i'm currently on the train i'm on my way to london because i'm actually going to kind of like an event slash an ad slash like a little exciting thing which i'm gonna bring you guys along to i'll show you guys my outfit when i can actually when you guys can see a little bit better um but the train is literally dead it's currently currently 207 so it's kind of like an off-peak time so everyone's literally dead which is quite good because i can vlog for you guys but i'm literally sweating so much it's so hot today it's literally been the most awful depressing weather like it's honestly got my mood down so much but i'm feeling so happy and so positive today because it's so hot and sunny and i'm kind of dying so i'm literally wearing a black blazer um but yeah i feel like the outfit's quite cute i'll show you guys when i can actually go to a full length mirror or something like that. I just thought I'd show you guys my little water bottle. Now ready for your Yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys my little water bottle, which I actually got from Luxury Promise. They kindly gifted me this. So thank you so much to the girls at Luxury Promise. And this is absolutely insane because you can literally put it in your bag. So I've got my little Dior bag, I'll show you guys. I've got my little Dior bag and basically it can fit, I mean this bag's quite big anyway, so it can fit inside. But literally because I have like my Chanel bag or any kind of small little bag, it literally fits inside, which I think is just so, so good. Sorry, I just got my mask down because I just had some of my water. Um, clouds are kind of coming out a little bit now, though I'm not actually not, actually I can't say that. I would say I'm not complaining because it's so hot, but we want the sunshine, we want the good vibes. Um, but I am actually on my way, I just thought I just may as well tell you. I'm on my way to a cocktail making class at Northern Lamb, which is like a vegan restaurant. It's like a vegan cocktail making class, which I've been kindly, um, this time sponsoring. It's a sponsored trip, is that what it is? Like it's not a sponsored video, it's just a sponsored tasting. But yeah, I'm kindly going there, kindly sponsored. And I'm going with Lucy. You've seen Lucy probably in my last video, which was my little get ready for me night out. Um, I'm with her quite a lot this week because she's still obviously in London. We've both finished uni now. Sorry if you guys can't hear me. Um, we've obviously both finished uni now. She's staying in London in August. So we're literally trying to make the most and do like every single thing possible. So I think we're going to get a cute little Wagamama's after as well because we have been craving a Wagamama's. Like, I cannot tell you what is it that I like to get. Yakisoba. With a little, what's it called? Ginger on the top. Gozers. Prawn gozers. <laughs> very excited so yeah let's put this mask back on there's literally no one in here by the way guys breaking the rules your personal bartender today first thing i will do like is uh, strip the glass because that's really important for the quality to drink yeah so i will start with this Uh, the espresso martini has two really simple ingredients, which is vodka, halua, which is like a coffee liquor, and uh, fresh espresso. Okay. So we're gonna start with the vodka. We're gonna put um, 50 ml, which is like a double shot. Yeah. Watch me like spill it everywhere when we do it. <laughs> Three coffee beans. Oh, garnish. It looks so nice. Right, we're right, on to the next one. What's this one called again? Sorry. It's called Vegan Pink Sour. Pink Sour. Yeah. This is so good. This is the first time I've actually ever tried corn, um, what was it? I keep calling it martini. Espresso martini. So nice. And I'm excited to try this one. It looks, it looks so really nice. cool. Yeah. And then we're gonna give it the last touch it is actually um this is like a rosebud we actually use it to infuse the vodka oh my god let's oh that's so cute <laughs> <laughs> so cute to the top again so you're yes. steadier at pouring it than, than what i am yeah, that's amazing. i can't pour it into that bit when i try and chuck it into that bit that's when i struggle I don't pour it quick you enough. Like make drinks at home not really. No, I think I've done it a few times, but not really. No. Pour gin in a glass. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of this. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. Do it like that. Oh, it's here. Uh, with a strainer. Yeah, and. and 
but I put it here. Uh huh. And then you can you can hold it like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not to just this is you hold this all the way. We do it together. Yeah. Yes. Go straight. Go 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 go. Perfect. So guys, we're just drinking our cocktails. We've got Pour Some Mart. No, I keep calling it Pour Some Martini. Espresso Martini, and then this is like a rose sour. So nice. We just got our food, which is Gallo's. I'm not sure what's in it. Stuffed smoked tofu, kimchi, oyster mushrooms, garlic, soy sauce, which looks so nice. Then we've also got like a smashed cucumber like salad, and then we've got some chips. Just waiting for some dip, but it's so cute in here. Um, this is the Wolf and Lamb restaurant. I think it's is it a restaurant? Yeah, restaurant and bar, and it's in Marleybone. It's literally like a two minute. Three minute walk, three minute walk from Baker Street, literally just down there. And it is so cute. Enjoy. Thank you. So yeah, we're just gonna sit and eat, but I would literally highly recommend the cocktail class was so cute. And it's just a nice little thing to do, like if you wanna come for cocktails, it's like a little bit more interactive. And it's a really nice little gift as well. So we're just gonna tuck into this. And it looks so good. <laughs> I literally look dragged. Um this light is um, hello guys, we have not caught up for a while. We had our cocktails, got a bit drunk, went to charity shops, didn't really find anything, it was very expensive. Like literally, like it was full of designer stuff, but like very expensive. So we're now in Magus, um, and we've just ordered my wife like a bit of a yeah, really rogue option. Um, I was just like, I want to try something new, and they were like, they have different things in this waggers. It's the one in what is this? So, not Soho, is it? It's like Regent Street. No, not Regent Street. Um, not Oxford Street. Near Selfridges. I don't know what it's called. Duke Street. Um, and I've gone for this, which is like a shoe 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 up bowl, and I've gone for jackfruit. And I honestly have no idea what it's gonna be like, but I just thought it looked quite nice. And I always just get the same thing. I always just get the yaki soba. I'm just a bit bored of it. So we'll see what it's like. We're in this cute little booth. At least it's still here. And yeah, it's cute. I'm just gonna eat. We're kind of not. We weren't that hungry because we had food at the cocktail place, which we weren't expecting. Which was so nice. It was literally so nice. I'll talk to you guys about it a bit more when we get home. Um, but I'll show you guys when it comes. And I'm praying it's gonna be nice. We've literally gonna make a mistake. And the, <laughs> the lady was literally like. Oh yeah, we've got one shushuk bowl. <laughs> she was like shushuk bowl. <laughs> I was like, I can't pronounce it. So hopefully it'll be nice. So guys, we've had a bit of a mix up. They literally brought out this is the bowl. This is the jackfruit version. They literally brought out a chicken version. I nearly ate it because I literally couldn't tell the difference. But this now looks like jackfruit. Lisa's got her vigatsu. Um, I'm gonna do a taste test. I'll see if it's nice. I'm a little bit scared, but it's quite nice. So hello guys, I'm now home from London. Had such a lovely day. Literally would highly recommend the cocktail class at Wolf and Lamb. It was so, so nice. I realized we were getting the food included as well, like some little side dishes. But when we went, it was like half three and we weren't really hungry enough for dinner. So we were gonna go back and like be paying customers because it was so, so nice. Um, I'll link it in the description box. I'll link the location. Um, there's two locations, I think there's one in Chelsea and then there's one in Marleybone. Um, I'd probably say it's like literally like a three minute walk from Baker Street Station. So if you are near there, then I would 100% recommend it. Um, I'm just home looking a little bit brojaggled from the mask. Um, but I need to do a lot of things because I actually have a really exciting day tomorrow. And I cannot wait to show you guys like what I'm going to be up to. Like it's actually kind of crazy. Like I literally can't believe it. So... Yeah, I actually never really showed you guys my outfit, did I? Put a picture. On, I probably would have put a picture on the screen of like what I was wearing, so you guys could see better. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit drunk, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but that wagon mum. Oh my god, the wagon mum meal. I haven't talked to you guys about wagon mum meal. So good, like so nice. Would definitely recommend that. But I'm just going to take my makeup off. I need to tan tonight. I need to prep because I'm going to be up very very early tomorrow. Because yeah, I'm just I'm very exciting. So hello guys, I just arrived at my shoot. I'm doing a shoot for TT London. I'm literally on the most stunning dress. Literally so beautiful. And this little clutch. I've got these cute little hospitals. Um, I'm gonna try to get my mum to do like a little bit of vlog footage. Sorry, I didn't vlog much this morning. It was honestly such a stress. I had to be up at like five o'clock in the morning. Um, do my tan, everything. It's just a whole palaver. Um, so I'll show you guys a little bit better outside with all the looks, because they're so, so gorgeous. So hello guys, 
guys, I'm literally in the girls' toilets in Portobello Road. This is literally model shoot life, like literally getting changed in the toilets. Put coffee on the top as well. Um, but the next outfit is this really cute little dress. So I'm going to get out of the bag and put it on. So it's all been a little bit hectic. It's kind of crazy, but I'm so much fun. guys i don't know what you've seen probably some very very random clips um oh is that Lenny? yeah my cat had such an amazing day shooting for chi chi clothing it was so so good um so i'm a little bit drunk i just had a few glasses of champagne um i can't say too much i can't show you guys too much because some of the dresses haven't launched yet some of the items haven't launched yet but it was just the best day the girls were so lovely I will talk to you guys fully about it tomorrow. I literally woke up this morning at 5am. So I'm kind of a bit, I feel like a bit jet lagged. So I'm just going to kind of relax tonight. I've got some Prosecco. I just had a little cheese board with some mozzarella. Some, some what else do we have? Hummus, pita, olives. olives. Jesus, burping. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just the funniest day ever. We literally got stranded in the rain, hence why I'm looking bedraggled. Lisa was like, bedraggled isn't a word, but we googled it and it is very much a word so i'm mean, looking very bedraggled um i literally still got my top half shooting in on but it's fine um but i'm literally just probably just gonna take off my makeup now take my hair extensions out give them a good brush because i honestly look like a drum mat um i literally got soaked so i'm just watching sophia and chintia's new video having some champagne and I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning i honestly don't know what this vlog's consisted of i feel like it's been so so random but I'm just living life like life's kind of gone back to normal so it's kind of hard to be constantly vlogging things if that makes sense kind of getting back into the swing of it so hopefully you don't mind the kind of sporadic vlogging but yeah cheers happy friday bank holiday friday um to all you guys at home and i'll see you guys in the morning so hello guys just arrived in london um i'm actually going to like you guys can see in the background i'm actually going to the booth gifting suite today which is so surreal to me i actually got invited to come here i think to pick out some clothes and just have a little look around so i'm very very excited um i will show you guys my outfit and everything fully when i get a chance so this morning was so manic i literally didn't get a chance to vlog at all so just kind of starting the vlog off here but this is great portland street it literally looks so cute the little shop with all the little graphics going on so i'm gonna bring you guys along in there I've gifted some little bits, so yeah, let's see what's inside. I just arrived at the booth and gifting suite. It's so cute in here. There's like some little ice cream stall over there. Got little nails here. There is so many clothes to choose from. We're all a bit overwhelmed. I just made a friend. So hey guys. <laughs> Hello. What's your name again? Sorry. Um, so sorry. Chantal. 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 Yeah. Who's also a student. She's 22. Yes. What do you study? Um, computer science. Computer. Oh my god. Yeah. No. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Is it hard? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it would be hard. So yeah, I've picked up two little t-shirts, but I don't know what else, I don't know how much we're allowed to choose. So just on a little looking around, there's some such cute bits in here that I'll show you guys what they've got. Some really cute little like tie-dye hoodies, cute little denim jacket. I just don't know what sizes they have because obviously I'd want this in like an XL. Um, some cute little pastel, little tracksuits, more tie-dye. This is like their pride gifting suite, so everything is kind of rainbow, bright, loud, that kind of vibe. Um, but it's literally so cute in here. There's a little um, ice cream truck over here with like little toppings. It literally is so cute. Might have to get one of those in a little bit. But yeah, literally just need to pick what I want. And I'll show you guys what I get probably at the end of this vlog. So guys, we picked up some things. What yeah. did you pick up? I got the white hoodie. Um, I think, is it this one or is it the other one? 
Oh, it's the this one. Oh yeah, this is so cute. Yeah. I this this little one. love is love, so so cute. Love it. And then you've gone to get. Oh yeah, it's gone to get this little pale blue tracksuit. So I think it's down there. It kind of looks like a pangaea jeep as well. It's really really cute. <laughs> So hello guys, I am now home after a very long, chaotic, hot day in London. I don't think I vlogged too much just because I was got in the Boohoo gifting suite which was so so nice. I literally am going to show you guys everything I got. Got this little t-shirt which is one of the little sneak peeks of one of the things I got. I met a really really lovely girl there called Chantelle, I think she also vlogged a little bit as well. And I just had the loveliest time, I got my nails done. I actually got some gel nails and when I was getting them done I was like oh my god these are so nice and she was like oh yeah by the way you're probably gonna have to pay to like get them taken off because I didn't realize that like, I don't get my nails done like you guys know I literally don't get my nails done and she was like oh yeah you are gonna have to like probably go somewhere to get those taken off so not too sure how that's gonna happen but she said it'll probably last about three weeks so I'm obsessed with them they're like such a cute pink color I don't think this is gonna focus very well but they literally look so good, like the girl was so good. Um, so yeah, you would have seen a few clips from that. Obviously I went there for a little while and then obviously I literally just did a shoot day in London and you guys know those shoot days are always so full on and I don't really have time to pick up my camera because I'm just trying to get pictures. So I managed to get three pictures, thought my phone, thought my battery pack had charge in it, realised it didn't when my phone had 24% so there was a big stress about trying to upload my picture and try and get the last few pictures so it was all a little bit of a stress but it's fine we still had a really lovely day it's really really late now I think it's like nearly 12 o'clock love that for me um but I thought I'd just show you guys some of the bits I actually picked up a few little bits from the shops today as well so I just thought I'd do a little haul of some things which I bought today just to show you guys and I also just wanted to come on here and just actually catch up with you because I feel like I've been here there and everywhere in this vlog like I've been like one I'm like oh I'm here I'm here I'm here and I haven't really checked in with you guys so I just wanted to come on and basically say like this is kind of it's a realistic in a way week in my life as an influencer but this is a very busy week like not every week I understand is going to be like this I think because everything has reopened at the same time as that I've become like a kind of like more established as an influencer it's just kind of the way it's worked out. I've been to like a lot of events and stuff like that. But obviously I know that's not going to be the case all of the time. So I just want to show you, like, just keep it real. Like literally tomorrow I'm probably going to do a really boring day of like admin, invoices, editing, all that like, boring stuff. So I mean I still love it but like it's not as full on and fun as everything I've been showing you guys in this vlog. So I do want to keep it real. Obviously I'm only going to show you guys the best bits. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes which is not so glamorous and not so fun. So just want to keep it real also guys if you're really if you're wanting like a really nice place to sit and have a really strong drink go to kingly court in carnaby street i literally had a pink gin it was a single pink gin and it went straight that's probably why i'm not talking properly like right now because it went straight to my head like straight to my head so if you do want a nice little drink which is literally going to send you bizarre is that a word that's not a word that's going to send you haywire haywire that word yeah if you want like a, just to chill but like you do want a little bit of that kick go there because that literally has made me oh, constrict my head so sorry guys i'm showing you on my bed and i haven't actually made it which is super super bad i hate not making my bed um so excuse the mess but i just want to show you guys a little tote bag which i got from the pride gifting suite it's like this really cute little tote which says love is love all over it um and then i also picked up so the t-shirt which i've got on i also got let me turn it the right way around so guys obviously the t-shirt which i have on i chose as well in this really cute colorway with like a slightly different slogan so this one says love everybody on the front so it's really cute yellow and blue kind of tie-dye design and then on the back it says love everybody i really love this like big kind of swirly font i just think it looks really groovy i will link all these down below i'm not quite sure if they've actually launched yet I think they have so if they have I will literally link them down below because I think they're such good quality and they fit so nice like this t-shirt which I've got on you guys probably can't see it particularly well but like you know like when the sleeves just fit really nice like they sit really nice on the arm it's such a good length that like, if you're short you can probably wear this as a t-shirt dress and like the neck is also really good like sometimes the necks on these t-shirts can be a little bit too high for my liking but this one is actually such a good fit so I'll definitely link these down below because I think for summer they're just so cute, like even over a little bikini. 
I literally love it. So guys, the final thing I picked up from the gifting suite was this co-ord. So it's basically these like kind of t-shirt shorts. I'm obsessed with these. They're the, literally the same colorway and pattern as a t-shirt which I've got on and they've got the same little bit of writing. I, was, I love being exactly who I am. I think that's just so cute. I love like the little multicolored design. Um, and these are kind of like a boyfriend short fit. They're like a bit longer, which I quite like, but I don't know if I want to cut them. Just because as a set, I feel like I like wearing these with a little bralette because I feel like it looks kind of like tomboyish. But then I think if I was going to wear it as a set, I prefer them a little bit shorter. So I might cut those, but they're such a nice fit and such nice quality. And then obviously to go with that, I also got the hoodie, which is literally insane. Like Boohoo loungewear, if you guys don't know get to know because it is literally the best loungewear out there i just i love it like it's so soft and fleecy like imagine in the summer like on a beach like over just like some cute little denim shorts it's just so like such a cute little vibe so yeah that's everything i picked up i also got a jacket which is being sent to my house which they didn't actually have in my size um like this little tri-colored denim jacket which is also really really cute so i'm gonna get that sent to me i think within the next week so I might do like a, I might do like a what's new in my wardrobe video because I feel like I have so many new clothes and I haven't really like properly shown you guys them I've just kind of like shown them in vlogs and stuff so maybe that'll be my next video but yes that is everything I got from Boohoo literally had the best day thank you so much Boohoo I am obsessed with these pieces um I also picked up finally a denim jacket I got this from Bershka this is one of my two purchases which were not like from Boohoo. So I've gone for this leather jacket, uh, not leather jacket, denim jacket. I've wanted an oversized denim jacket for so long. Couldn't find the right one. Could, tried to go vintage, couldn't really find like the right kind of style. They're either too big, too small, not the right denim. And I just saw this one hanging up in Burj and I was like, wow, this literally looks perfect. Got it in a large, it was £27.99, which I think is actually really, really good for a denim jacket. Only thing I'm not loving as I'm looking at it is the rose gold buttons, but... It's £27 and it literally like it fits so well. I haven't I'll probably show you guys, like I said, probably in like what's new in my wardrobe video, um, styled up. Because I just think they look so nice with like either double denim and little white bralette. And with like joggers or just something like that. Like they're just so versatile to style. And you can't really see, it's not really showing like how oversized it is on camera. It's just such a good level of oversized. Like it's not too big and it's not too small. It's not too long. Like it's just a really good kind of size. Like this is probably isn't really doing it justice. But you guys will see it properly very very soon. So yeah that was one of the other things I picked up. So guys, the final thing I picked up, you guys know I'm on the graphic tee hype. I picked up this little graphic tee from Urban. It says NASCAR Junkie, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. And I just really wanted a red oversized t-shirt. And I don't know if you guys can relate, but finding a really good oversized t-shirt is actually so hard. Like, it's so hard to find like, the right fitting one. And I just saw this hanging up. I was like, this looks like a really good fit. And it was literally perfection. So I had to buy it. It's such, it's such a good, like, length in the arm. Not too baggy, but, like, still baggy enough. And then also, guys, I literally am obsessed with the back. This is the back. I literally... I literally love it. How bad have you got it? NASCAR Cup Series. I just think it's just really, really cool. I just think for den with denim shorts or jeans, just to chuck on, it's just such an easy outfit. Like, imagine just to, like, my um, Boohoo jeans, like, my kind of slimmer fit jeans. This t-shirt, some nice, like, cool, like, Dior sunglasses and my Chanel bag. It's just so, it's, like, such an easy look. And my Air Jordans. I just live in kind of outfits like this. So, you guys know I love the vintage tea hype. I tried to find a few in Brick Lane, but they could, didn't really have, like, the right fitting ones. So, even though I would prefer to buy vintage rather than from Urban, um, just because it's cheaper, this one just fits so well. So, I feel like I didn't mind spending a little bit more. Um, this one, I don't think it was too bad. I think it was £28. £29. Yeah, £29. I'm not quite sure what size it is. Um, which, I guess, is kind of... It's kind of not a lot. I mean, it's a vintage t-shirt, but you can get them in Brick Lane for, like, £10. But then, obviously, it's, like, finding the right size or the right style. So, I'm just really glad I managed to pick this one up because I love the fit of it, the colour, the design, everything. So, I didn't mind spending a little bit more. And I just feel like it's going to be such a cute staple in my wardrobe. Definitely feel like I have looked like a dishevelled mess in 99% of this vlog but that is okay it's too hot to function in the UK right now um but that is probably going to conclude this week's vlog I hope you guys have enjoyed it this obviously like just want to say a little disclaimer this is not kind of a realistic week in every single like it's not every single week isn't like this for me as an influencer this is like my first proper week as an influencer and it just so happens that a lot of events fell on this week which I can vlog for you guys but like I said there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes it's not all glamorous 
trust me it is definitely not yeah thank you guys so much for coming along with me this week in my first week of an influencer so i don't know why my throat has gone a little bit not too sure maybe it's because i'm literally severely dehydrated um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video also leave a comment tell me if you guys did like this style of video if you want me to do some more like videos like this then i would love to do that but i hope you all have a lovely week and i'll see you very very soon love you so much bye <laughs>